Okay, you guys, welcome back to the channel. And I want to talk about the upcoming Black Adam movie and how the rumors about the casting is such a turnoff that I'm probably not going to watch it. Like, I thought Rock could be the one, but then he decided to fall into that so social justice warrior bull crap. And it's just not a good look. To be honest, it's more disrespectful than anything else to force diversity into a team that's all about legacy any damn way. To race bin characters and all that kind of crap is stupid. Um, from the rumors, they're taking Cyclone and they're going to get some, I forgot what's her name, the girl who played Dora the Explorer. And then they're talking about making her grandmother the original Red Tornado, making her trans because, you know, in the 1930s, women weren't allowed to fight on the front line. So the grandmother dressed up in a costume to pretend to be a man so she could fight on the front lines with the Justice Society of America during the World War II. But now they want to be like, oh, she's going to be the first ever trans character in DC Comics. And it's just like, no, stop doing this crap. You got to stop doing this crap. Now you're making Cyclone Hispanic, which makes absolutely no sense. Now you're making her grandmother a trans. Are you kidding me? Then you make Hawkman black for dumb reasons. Come on. And then don't even get me started with Adam Smasher. He's fucking Hispanic now. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Past is the past. You just can't keep going back and trying to change stuff to today's society sensibilities. I'm sorry. That team is a 1940s team that has a lot of legacy and heart and the foundation of the DC universe. And to sit up there and take that away from them because you want some diversity brownie points is highly disrespectful you know my grandma and grandpa and them grew up loving these characters and stuff like that and then to see them get bastardized on the big screen because you want diversity like come on what why you know how times was back in the 1940s and even then you could have did the current Justice Society team, but you didn't. So then you only get selective with the characters. But then my thing is, okay, you have Mr. Terrific that you could have chose from that you didn't use. You could have used Crispin Allen, the second Spectre, after um, Jim Corden gives up becoming the Spectre. You could have used Amazing Man. Nobody ever uses Amazing Man. And you could have used Joaquin Thunder, you know, all of these characters were black and you could have used them, but you didn't, you know, what, what, what are we talking about? Like, I'm getting real tired of this whole, we need diversity, we need representation. And when you come into comics or something like that, you have these characters right here and you ignore them and then play victimhood on the reason why we're changing these characters is because we need to see diversity or whatever i just listed you four black characters that you could have used instead of changing hawkman from black to white you know like what are we talking about you could have used rye if you wanted to for some asian representation you know you have plenty of characters in there that have legacy family members grandparents and stuff like that and to see that get changed because we want to be diverse and more inclusive. Who does that help? You know, of course, there's going to be dummies who's going to watch the movie and stuff like that because they don't know no better. They just want to watch a good superhero movie. But people who grew up with these characters, people who are actually into these comic book characters, who read these characters, who know how they should act and feel like after years of you know, being around them or whatever and reading about them or being told stories about them, to see them like this is such a disrespectful thing. To be honest, messing with the Justice Society of America feels like spitting on the World War II veterans that are still alive today.
I am so sorry to say that. That's exactly what that looks like. That's exactly what that feels like. Because you can't say that we respect the history of these characters and we want to do the best that we can, but yet you have no problem going back, erasing history from them or changing things to try to fit to today's 2020 society. Like, get out of here with that nonsense. It's crazy. I just really hope the rumors aren't, but it really does look like it might be true. And if it is, I do not want to hear DC or anybody talking about, oh, it's because you guys are racist or homophobes or transphobic. No, no, nobody's trying to hear all of that. DC decided to change these characters from what they originally like instead of getting the characters that they want for that diversity push thing. I'm tired of these characters being changed. I'm tired of um, diverse people being used as tokenism. Like, no, we are not your playthings. You make a good movie. You shut up. You make a good movie that's based off of these characters. And let me see them on the big screen. I want to see what I've been reading for years on the big screen and not being changed because diversity sake. Like, get out of here with that crap. Like, come on. Really? Not the Justice Society of America. It's already bad enough DC been ignoring them since 2011. Now we finally get them back and this is the thanks we get? Ugh, I'm just not impressed. Not impressed, DC. Do better. Do better. But yeah, that's the video. Um, Tell me what you guys think. I really hope to God the rumors aren't true about um Cyclone and her grandmother, the original Red Tornado, but... Who knows if they willing to change Hawkman and cast uh, his Latino guy as Adam Smasher. Why not? You know, why not? They already casted a black Batwoman. So who knows? But yeah, um, like, subscribe, share with all your friends and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.